Oh boy, well it's been a while, and uh, yes, I'm still alive also, and I'm back with some great news. An iOS 14 jailbreak is right around the corner from being released. Yeah, that's right, so soon you'll be able to jailbreak your iPhone 12, or really any iPhone running iOS 14 to iOS 14.3. So if there's ever a time to turn on notifications for this channel, now would be it. If you guys are ready to jailbreak, like me, give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's get into things. So we're back doing another jailbreak update video. I'm gonna give the rundown of what the current situation looks like in the jailbreaking scene. Now this is gonna be probably a review for a lot of you that have been keeping up in this uh, community, but these days there are two main prominent jailbreak developer teams, one run by Pwn to Own and the other one run by Coolstar. Now it's not a competition here. Both teams do incredible and exceptional work they are both hard at work, in fact, developing a jailbreak of their own for iOS 14 that again is going to support the latest flagship devices like the iPhone 12. Now, Pwn usually names his jailbreak Uncover, and that's going to ship with Cydia as the default package installer. Whereas Coolstar, on the other hand, he switches up the name of his jailbreak each year. It was Electra, then it was Chimera, last year it was Odyssey. Uh, but the main thing that's ma remained consistent with his jailbreak is that it ships with Celio. Now, in my opinion, Zebra seems to be the most stable and best alternative, best of both worlds as far as package managers go, but they really all do the same thing in the end. Who's going to come out with their jailbreak first? That's hard to tell at this point in time. Really, either solution is going to be fine here. I'm just excited to jailbreak my phone at this point. Uh, so, there's probably a lot of questions you guys have. I'll try to answer some of the ones I get the most in today's video. The first one being, what versions of iOS is this going to support? Well, it sounds like it's going to support iOS 14 all the way up to iOS 14.3. Now, I won't bore you, but if you guys want to check your iOS version, you can go to General, About, and check exactly what you're running. I currently have an iPhone 12 Pro Max that I'm going to be using for jailbreak and top tweak videos. I also have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, still jailbroken in fact, on iOS 13.5. I'm hoping the second Future Restore gets updated, I can use that phone, uh, use Future Restore to update that phone to iOS 14.3. So. We know iOS versions are going to be supported, what phones, what devices are going to be supported here. And it's a pretty simple answer. Once everything is all fleshed out, pretty much any phone or any device like an iPad or iPod Touch that can run iOS 14 to 14.3 is going to be supported. Now on day one, it can always be hit or miss, but typically for the flagship iPhone 12 phones or the flagship phone of that year, those devices will run perfectly fine. Uh, don't quote me on that, but once things are all said and done, if you guys have a device running the iOS versions that are supported, that's more important than the actual device itself. So the third question is how will this jailbreak work and how will I install it? So it's going to be pretty similar to years past. It's going to be what's called and referred to as a semi-untethered jailbreak. Now what that means is every time you restart your device, you'll have to re-jailbreak your device. The semi-untethered part meaning you can do this with an application on your phone, and that's typically what you sideload either through an on-device signing platform or with Alt Store uh, using a Mac or Windows-based PC. So similar as years past, it's going to be hard to come across a fully untethered jailbreak where when you boot up, you're already jailbroken. Those days are unfortunately just over because it takes yet another exploit to make that possible and a really hard one to get at that point. Uh, so most people are fine with this. The difference again here being from CheckRain is you won't have to use the computer to actually jailbreak and boot up your phone in the jailbroken mode. You'll just use the app on your phone itself. So since this is a jailbreak update, what are the latest updates you guys should be aware of? Let's discuss. So we already have an exploit out. That's like the big one right there that you really just have no idea when that's gonna come in the year. Uh, there's been multiple jailbreak demos by other teams. Now, they're probably not going to release them, 
but the cool thing is we have a developer that did release his research. This was the big one we were waiting on, just got this news a couple of days ago uh, that both Coolstar and Pwned Own were waiting on this guy's research right here, and he has in fact released it to the public. So that's super exciting news. We have the exploit in a working uh, package basically for the developers to then take their jailbreak utilities and test it out with this new exploit. Uh, again, Coolstar and Pwned Own are kind of like the two main developers I'm talking about in this video. There are other developers on the scene creating rootless jailbreaks, which are essentially jailbreaks that get you to the root of iOS, but they don't come with a package manager or a GUI for you to install any packages. And those are actually already out there right now. Uh, it's really just, it's not worth your time to install them at this point. If you're in it for the tweaks and customization, it's much easier with Cydia or Celia or uh, basically a visual package manager. Now, back to the good stuff with that package that was just released and that Coolstar and Pondora are investigating. Basically, like I was saying, they just have to implement that into their jailbreak utilities and test, essentially. Test that Cydia and Celio and all of the things that make those package managers function, like substitute, make sure everything works smoothly for the end user. And that's the state that we're currently in. I've seen a couple uh, tweak developers even already get a couple uh, sneak previews of this and have tested it. And there's only been good news that I've seen on Twitter and Reddit and things like that. So tweak injection does seem to be working. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's amazing how close we are, guys. That's why I just, I had to make this video letting you know this awesome news. So uh, when is this going to be coming out? Uh, well, again, there's no definite ETA, but it's close, guys. It could be a day, it could be a week. In any case, please don't bug the developers. That's only going to delay things further but I will be dropping a video the second the jailbreak utility is released, so please turn on notifications if you guys want to be pinged for that. So once the jailbreak's out, uh, what tweaks can you guys expect to be supported? Well, uh, that's actually looking pretty good this year. At least if we took a look at last year, most tweaks are supported out of the box, and I almost want to put this on check rain right here for making that possible. Most developers can actually get their hands on an iPhone 10 or something that uses the check rain jailbreak, that already is working on iOS 14.4. So they can test out their tweaks on the new versions of iOS before an untethered or semi-untethered jailbreak comes out like we're about to see in a few days. So as far as uh, iOS support goes, most tweaks should be updated very quickly. If not, they have already been updated. Now for the latest flagship devices each year, uh, sometimes the screen sizes change a little bit, so I could see certain tweaks uh, take a little bit more time, maybe a week or two, to be fully compatible with these latest devices. But uh, taking a look at what happened last year, we saw tweaks being updated within weeks of the jailbreak release for the iPhone 11. So things are looking good as far as tweak support goes. I'm sure you guys are super excited to jailbreak and you might be hanging up on this one final thing of, hey, I'm on iOS 14.4, is there any way to downgrade? And sadly, there is not a way to downgrade from iOS 14.4 to something earlier in order to jailbreak. Uh, for all intents and purposes, that is, there's no official tool from Apple. Now, if say you do have an iPhone 10 or something that can use the check rain jailbreak and you have your SHSH2 blob saved, you could technically jailbreak and then downgrade to an earlier version of iOS 14. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's not the easiest solution there. But for these latest flagship devices like the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 12, since they cannot be jailbroken on iOS 14 yet, uh, you cannot use your blobs. Basically, uh, Future Restore is used to typically upgrade from a jailbroken firmware to a newer iOS firmware that uh, just received a jailbreak. The catch being you have to be jailbroken at that time in order to use them. So that's kind of the rundown. It's, it's good to save your blobs, but it is hit and miss with blobs. Unfortunately, this year Future Restore has yet to be updated for the iPhone 11. Uh, which is kind of why I'm still on 13.5 right now. Now there's a good reason for that, but 
But yeah, it does work on the iPhone 10s and below as of now. If you're on iOS 13.5 jailbroken and want to upgrade to iOS 14.3, when the jailbreak comes out, that is totally possible. So, whew, that was a lot of questions, a lot of stuff to cover in a very short video. Uh, let me recap a couple main points. So there is a iOS 14 jailbreak coming out very soon that's gonna support all of the devices running iOS 14 to 14.3, including the latest iPhone 12 lineup devices, guys. Super incredible there. Uh, definitely stay on iOS 14.3 or below. Unfortunately, there's no way to downgrade if you're on something higher. Now, I'll be dropping a video the second the jailbreak utility is released, so definitely turn on notifications if you guys wanna be pinged the second that happens. Uh, things are super close to being done, guys. The jailbreak devs are doing incredible work. Seriously, shout out to both Coolstar and Pwn2 Own. I'm so stoked to jailbreak my iPhone 12. I hope you guys are too. I'm super excited to see what jailbreak tweaks are gonna come out this year for iOS 14 and these new devices. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Stay tuned, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff if you're ready to jailbreak. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.